one of the things that you need to understand in algebra is what they're telling you here. And that is that only like terms can be combined. What are like terms? Like terms are terms that have the same variable and the same exponent. The variable is the letter. That's a variable. So if I have a plus a, I can add the two a's because they're like terms. So a plus a is 2a because I've got two a's. That's what it, it means, right? Two a's. Um, and if I have a squared plus 4a squared, I can add those two because they're like terms. They have the same variable and the same exponent. Same variable, same exponent. So a squared plus 4a squared equals 5a squared. If I have 4a squared plus 2a equals, I can't add those because the variables are the same, right? But the exponents are different. This is when there's no exponent, it's understood to be 1. So this one has an exponent of 2, and this one has an exponent of 1. So those aren't like terms. Even though the variables are the same, the exponents are different. So I can't add those, okay? Remember that. Like terms have the same variable and the same exponent. Same variable, same exponent. So here, let's look at this equation, this example. And here we can add the 3x squared and the 2x squared because they have the same variable. Um, they have the same variable, right, x, and the same exponent, too. I don't know if you could see this. Here, let me make my fine chisel. Okay. Um, so we can add these. So 3x squared plus 2x squared gives me 5x squared, right? And here I can add the 4y and the 5y because they have the same variable, y, right? And the same exponent, which is 1. So I could add these two. So I add, put a positive sign and I put 4y plus 5y. Well, 4 plus 5 is 9y, okay? That's our answer, you see? We can add these. And I can't add the 5x squared and the 9y because the variables are different here. And the exponents are different. Hope you understand that. Um, understanding this will help you do this next section. Okay, let's do the first problem in this next section. Um, let's look at our variables. We have a here, a here, a here, a here. Okay, so it looks like all these are like terms because the variables, are, I mean, the exponents are the same. The variables are the same and the exponents are the same. Remember, the variables are the letters. The exponents are these little numbers on top of the letter. When there's no exponent, the exponent's understood to be 1. So that means we can add all of these terms. Let's start doing that. Um, I know that I'm going to add the 7a and the 2a, even though there's no addition sign. I know I'm going to add them because when there's no addition sign, the sign is positive. So these are both positive, so I'm going to add them. 7a plus 2a, if you do it in your head, you get 9a. So this equals 9a here, right? But now they're asking me to take away 3a. So 9a minus 3a equals 6a, OK? So now all this together equals 6a. But I still have a negative 5a. So that means I'm going to take away 5a from the 6a. And that gives me 6a minus 5a is just a. And that's my answer. Okay, you could really do it all in your head. I worked it out so you could see what I'm doing, but I would have done it in my head. 7a plus 2a is 9a minus 3a is 6a minus 5a. 6a minus 5a is just a. So you don't really have to write it out. You could do it in your head if the numbers are small enough. Here I've got, um, first let's check if they're all like terms. Well, here we have a yz, 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 yz. The variables are the same. The next thing we have to check is if the exponents are the same. And they are. They're all to the first power. Because remember, when there's no exponent, the exponent is understood to be 1. So they're all to the first power. That means I can combine all these terms. So here I have 3yz minus 9yz. 
Um, when the signs are different, we have a positive and a negative. When the signs are different, you always subtract, okay? So we're going to subtract the 9 and the 3. That's going to give us 6. 6, Y, Z. But now we've got to see if the, the 6, Y, Z is a positive or a negative. How do I find that out? Well, the bigger um, sign, the sign of the bigger number determines what my answer, the sign of my answer. So since the sign of the bigger number is a negative, then I know my answer is going to be negative. So I've got 6YZ. Now here I've got a positive, a negative 6YZ. Here I've got a positive 20YZ. I know it's positive because there's no sign in front of it. When there's no sign in front of it, it's automatically positive. So that means that I've got a negative and a positive again. So that means I'm going to add these two. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to subtract them. So 20, when the signs are different, you subtract. So 20 minus 6 is 14. Y, Z. Okay. Now, um, I know that my sign is going to be positive because the bigger number that I'm that of the one of the two numbers that I'm subtracting is positive. So I know my sign's positive. And here I've got a positive seven Y. So now I've got two signs that are the same. When the signs are the same, if they're both negative or if they're both positive, as long as the signs are the same, you add them. Okay. So fourteen plus seven equals 21 and since both the signs are positive that's going to give me a positive 21 y z that's my answer positive 21 y z here i have um here i have uh 21 y squared y squared here i have y squared here i have y squared here i have y squared so that means that they're all like terms so that means i can be able to i'm able to combine all of these um, so I've got 21 minus 17. Um, the, this is positive, and this one's negative, so that means I'm going to subtract. And my answer is going to be 18, 19, 20, 21. 4. 4y four squared. Okay, so I've already subtracted and these. Cancel them out so I won't get confused. Now I've got a positive 4y squared. And it's positive because the 21 was the bigger number, so and the bigger number was positive, so my answer is positive. Here... I've got a negative and a positive, so when the signs are different, we subtract. So I know I'm going to subtract 4 and 3. 4 minus 3 is 1y squared, or just y squared. We don't write the 1. It's understood to be there. 1y squared, or y squared. And it's a positive because the 4 was the bigger number, and the 4 was positive, right? So I've got a positive y squared, so I already combined this one. Cancel it out. Now what I have left is the 4y. So now I'm going to, since the signs are different, Right, negative and positive, I'm going to subtract. So 4 minus 1y is 3y. And since the bigger number was negative, my answer is going to be a negative 3y squared. Okay, I'm going to go through these a little faster. Um, here I have x squared, x squared, x squared, x squared, same exponents, right? So they're like terms. I'm going to combine them. 14 plus 9 equals 24x 20, squared. Minus 8 equals 16x squared. Um, and since the 24 was the positive, my answer is positive. So I got positive 16x squared minus 11x gives me 5x squared. That's my answer. Um, here I've got 9x squared minus 7x squared. And let me see. They're all x's and the exponents are 2. So I'm going to be able to combine this. 9x squared minus 7x squared is... Um, a9 2x squared plus 4x squared equals 6x squared minus 3x squared equals 3x squared plus 3x squared equals 6x squared minus 4x squared equals 2x squared. That's my answer. Doing it kind of fast, you might want to do it on your own kind of slow. Here, um, slower. Here we have um, fractions, and uh, I'm going to do this on another video, so I'm going to cut it in half, okay? So Look for the other video so uh, you can know how I did this equation because I don't have enough time on this video.